I've just driven up to Glen Affric. Um You can maybe hear that it's uh, raining. Um, I'm in my tent, which is next to the car. Um, I just arrived and it was already dark, so... Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow we're going to get a drier day. Um, forecast looks reasonable. Um, and I'm really just here to try and get some autumn colours. Uh, missed it last year by a couple of weeks. Um, it was here a bit too early. And uh, I think this is the third, third or fourth time I've been here. Um, it's just a, a matter of timing. And didn't quite manage it last time. So here, so hoping that tomorrow we have some more success. Uh, anyway, I'm going to grab some food and then I will probably get some sleep because it's dark and there's nothing else to do. So I shall see you in the morning. Crust it doesn't pour the rain. Right, um, well, before I even managed to get the tent packed up, uh, the lights come up a bit, and I'm standing looking across the wall in perfectly flat camp conditions. And we've got cloud hanging in the, the trees on the far side. Um, I've I've taken a few photographs before I've done this because it's been moving quite quickly. But uh, I've basically been sort of looking at 30 second exposures, F16, um, so I can get enough of the, the ambient light. Um, I'm just going to take another one and check my focus using my view. Uh, That looks about right. I'm using my 7200 set of about 100 millimeters, and I'm getting um, reflections into the the water surface. There's also a, a bit of a mist hanging on the water as well, but uh, this is why it pays to be here uh, overnight. Even although it wasn't the best night's sleep, um, it means you get to see this rather than driving for three hours to to only miss it, so uh, I will, I'm planning on moving along the glen a bit more because um, I want to try and get in amongst the trees but I figured that this was an opportunity that I couldn't really miss. So I'll get on with this, get the tent packed away and then move along to the, uh, the other car park. moved off. I found another composition that I quite like. Um, I was, that's what the cap is, and I spent the night. Uh, I've just moved over the other side of the road, and the reason I've done that is because of that birch tree. Um, I've got a camera there, and I've got the road acting as my leading line. Um, the mists come in completely now so I'm actually going to try and take a couple more but what I was getting was uh, the the tree nice and sharp and then as you can see if you look down the road that way um, the mist and the camera is not focusing again the mist is completely softening the background the reason I decided to look at this was although the mists come in a bit more um, the you can see more of the background, so it's all sort of fading off into the mist. So I was using uh, f6.3 just because I wanted everything to, to sort of the mist to appear 
like it was making everything more out of focus just by using a shallower depth of field. Um, so yeah, it looks like the mist is rolling in, um, which is fine. Take a few more here and then move on. Um, the River Afric is part of the path which is behind the camera just now that uh, we're watching from. But uh, on the way I stopped because I was looking at over this view. Um, I'll move this way you can see it a bit better. Uh, an old Caledonian pine off to the right of this tripod and the colours of the birches and whatnot all in the distance. Um, the mist is coming and going, so it's actually quite nice, it's quite soft. Uh, in the background we've got the hills, I think you can see it over there. It's appearing now out the, the cloud. Um, a few seconds ago you can see the top of that, so I think I'm actually going to grab another picture. Things are coming and going as the mist drifts through. A few minutes ago you couldn't even see that, but it's quite a nice backdrop. So for that I'm, uh, I'm shooting in aperture priority and I've set the, the lens to f5.6. Um, just because, well with the, the, the mist softening stuff anyway, I'm not going to get a fully sharp photograph. So I'm just concentrating on what I want to be sharp and then letting everything else sort of disappear off. Uh, the other thing I'm using here is the path that we're on in the tripod sitting on, it's disappearing up through the trees so I'm kind of using that as a leading line down through the, the image. Uh, so I think I've got what I want for here, from here, so we'll, we'll move on further around the path uh, to the river and hopefully maybe pick up something down there. 